Virginia and this is Jelen's kitchen. Today we have something different for you to see, especially if you're American. Probably. I think so. We'll see. This is a tiny little pot. I actually bought it here. I bought a set of four of them. So today we're going to cook in a way a stew, but it, what I call it is meat in a pot. And in Russian it's мясо в горшочках. So that's what we're gonna do. We have pork, we have vegetables, we're ready to go. We have some broth to make it nice and juicy. So we're gonna pre-cook the pork a little bit and then mix it all together in the little pots and then we're gonna bake it. So there we are. Let's start with the pork. So we're gonna start with six boneless pork steaks. That's how big they are. They're gorgeous. I get them at the local grocery market. I'm going to cut them in um, cubes. So I think I'm gonna go for rectangles. Maybe I'll go with rectangle. About this big. So I'm gonna cut them all in cubes or rectangles that are not too much bigger than an inch to inch and a half. And I'm gonna do all six of them like this and I'm gonna meet you with a frying pan. We're gonna give them a little flavor, a little color. So my pan is on medium heat. Um, there's a little bit of olive oil in it. The pork is fatty enough, so I just don't want to stick to it just in case. It's a brand new pan, by the way. Welcome the new pan. All right, there it goes. Oh, love the sound. We're gonna put few pieces at a time. Uh, and we're just gonna give them a little bit of color on each side. Just a little bit. It's not to make it pretty. And what else you're gonna do? Browning will make it help to keep the juices inside of the meat. It will make it stay so delicious. Having a little trouble pinching the meat here. All right, now we're gonna give it a minute. And while this minute is happening, we're just gonna wait. <laughs> I'll be back with you in a minute. So the minute almost passed. We're gonna season the meat right away with a little bit of salt and teeny bit of pepper. And we can flip now. And look how pretty this side is. We're not trying to cook it through. We're just trying to give it some... Oh, that, 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 where are you? We're just trying to give it some gorgeous color. So we're just going to move it to another side. You can cook it just on two sides. You can cook it on three or four. It's up to you depending on how the piece of meat is shaped. What's more comfortable for you? How long you want to stand here for? It is all up to you. If you make your, your heat too high, just so you know, it's going to burn. If you're gonna overcrowd your pan, they're going to release the juices because they're not gonna have enough heat on them. And then you're gonna end up just cooking them instead of just giving them a little color. So while this is happening, I'm gonna slowly flip it and I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Let's go back to the cutting board and prep the vegetables. And then I'm gonna show you how to layer the most delicious, Oh, little pot of meat. So let's prep the vegetables. All right, first I have some baby carrots. Uh, I say if you have about half a pound, you should be golden. And we're gonna cut them in circles. But you might not even use it all. Depends how many carrots you like. And if you have any other vegetables, today we only have carrots, onions, and potato. Just chop them, chop them. You don't have to be too thin. You can be a little thicker. And if you like it, you can just put them cut in the half. I have some skinny little baby carrots. I'm just going to cut them in half and not worry about it. I also have this gorgeous onion here. I'm going to cut the bottle. Cut another bottle. And I'm just going to do actually quarter rings. Just like this. And the potatoes, I haven't washed them yet, but I'm going to show you really quickly. They're going to be cut in thin circles. I have few little baby white potatoes, but I also have a one red potato just in case if I need it. I might. I don't have a lot of white potatoes. And you can get some imperfections and cut them out. 
So that's it. This is how you prep your vegetables. If you have peppers, just dice them. If you have mushrooms, dice them. Zucchini, eggplant, anything. Just dice them in, in kind of smaller pieces. That way you can all mix in together. I have to go back to the frying pan because the pork is cooking really fast. And I'll be right back with you when we're going to start layering the pots. We got all this meat cooked partially. We got our four pots lined up on the cookie sheet and the oven is at 350. So let's start with meat. I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I'm gonna start with a few pieces of beef, of beef, I'm sorry, pork for the bottom. And you try to make about this even amount. You just see, you know, what it's <laughs> when it gets covered. I'll show you in a second. So see my bottom is mostly covered. There you go, it's perfect. So I'm gonna do it for all of them. It's gonna be so yummy. Believe me, the smell already just from the pork cooking alone have been amazing. Okay, now we're gonna do, next thing is we're gonna put some carrots in. Go. Not all of them. Some of the onion. There we go. If you have any vegetables left, you can always refrigerate them for later. And a layer of the thinly sliced potatoes. There we are. Now we're gonna put more meat. Whew. I'm gonna continue layering it up and I'll see you soon. I'm gonna just put a little bit of more of everything else just to fill those things up, all right? I'll be right back. And we're gonna put some liquid in and season it a little bit. So the pots are really full, don't worry about it. You won't possibly close all the way, but once they cook, it will cook down and they will go down. It's gonna be okay. That's also why we have this cookie sheet. So nothing spills over, it's gonna be great. Have a little bit of, ah, oh, smells good. Chicken broth in here. And if you have beef broth or vegetable broth, you can put that in. This is probably about one eighth of a cup. That's what I just did. We're gonna put a teeny weeny bit. You know, I'm not really good at teeny weeny bit of garlic powder, but I'm gonna try. Teeny weeny bit of garlic powder. Just for a little hint of garlic. If you want, you can roast some garlic and put it in. And a teeny weeny bit of Italian seasoning or any dry herb you like. Now I'm gonna cover them and put them in the oven. I honestly don't know how long it's gonna take. We're gonna we're gonna count it. We're gonna uh, what's the word? We're gonna time it. Oh, look, 51 episodes, and now I forget the word. We're gonna time it. We're gonna check on it, and when it's done, we'll tell you exact time at 3:50 in my oven, and we're gonna have the most delicious, hot, steamy, yummy, yummy on my tummy taste test. The pots look amazing. They took 40 minutes in the oven. The whole house smells so delicious. Let's have a taste test. I'm gonna get a small piece of meat so it's not super hot, hopefully. It's very juicy in there. You know how I put just very little liquid? It's almost to the top, filled with juices. Oh, it smells so good. Hot. So tender, so delicious. You can taste everything. It's it's got a little bit of a coating on it, not like a like a starchy coating from the potato. And if you put beans in it, by the way, it's gonna get even like a thicker. It's um tastes of course like pork, which is delicious. 
I can taste the Italian seasoning and a little bit of garlic. There's also delicious vegetables. I haven't even tried that, them yet because they're going to retain heat even longer. So they're going to for sure burn my mouth. This is really good. This is not really quick, but it is a nice, fancy, festive dish. I mean, look at it. That's how you serve it. You put the pot in a little plate. That's how you give it. It's an individual portion. Eric can sometimes eat too because it is amazing. They are pretty loaded today, so he might not be able to. He might just have to stay with one. It goes perfectly with a lot of different things, breads, vegetables, anything you want. This is one of the Russian staples. I'm Zhenya, this is Zhenya's Kitchen, and this is my take in meat and the pots.